welcome in we're gonna start over here with the entryway one of the first things that you see when you first walk into my apartment is yourself i got this i'm not gonna call it big it's pretty small I mean, let's call it a medium this medium like brass gold whatever you want to call it mirror from home goods and this is something that in my personal opinion is pretty easy to find i've seen it at multiple home goods in multiple states and i really like it i believe i only paid 25 dollars for this and i actually mounted this myself not too long after i moved into my apartment i mounted myself it's probably included in one of my movie vlogs but yeah i really like this mirror it's very simple and i wanted to get something to kind of match the vibe of like yes this is an entryway so this is actually a pretty recent addition i would say this was added in 2023 i built a well guess what it is what do you think this is do you think it's just a drawer do you think it's like nothing it's actually a shoe cabinet i would always see these when i would go into ikea and be like oh that's so cool such an easy way to like have shoes in your house but not see them so i bought one of these and i love it i think it's perfect i try to get my guests to put their shoes in there but a lot of people don't realize that that's what this is I personally love it. So this is from Ikea. It's the Besta shoe cabinet and they were pretty affordable. I want to say it was less than $65. So that's a good price. I also had it delivered to my apartment. So I paid that extra $20 just for simply the convenience. Anyway, up here we have my little cute little display of items. First, I have my sunglasses. These are all from Amazon. Amazon also Amazon this is part of my birthday party no idea where these are from um, and then you see I have these two forever mood candles if you guys have been watching the vlogs for a while you would remember that I was a part of Jackie Ina's um, candle club for her brand forever mood and so I have a lot of her candles um, I have not even burned these so they're really just here for the aesthetic but eventually I will burn them then this like faux marble slab is from home goods as well along with the Kobe Bryant Mamba mentality book um, I think I actually bought them the same. No, I got this more recently. But I really wanted something to kind of like add some height to this shoe cabinet. And I was like, oh, that'll be cute to display things on. That is the entryway. And if you turn around, you will see my my grab and go. Essentially, it's like stuff like my work ID, my old work ID too, my keys, extra set of keys, pepper spray but yeah that's very very convenient i bought these hooks from target they are um command hooks and they're very very convenient and they'll be easy to take off as well so love that and over here there's a light switch so this light switch controls the kitchen the two lights in the kitchen and this one controls the light in the entryway and then last but certainly not least i have this door stopper y'all know this is my first apartment and this is my first time living away from my family outside of college like this is my first time being in a space where i really didn't know anybody i was a little nervous and even though my building is secure i was like i want an extra level of security so i purchased this door stopper and i love it essentially you put it underneath your door handle you kick it in a little bit and people cannot open your door. Everything will be linked down below, whether it's from my Amazon storefront or from other retailers, but that's our little entryway. Now let's head into the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. You guys have probably seen this if you watch the vlogs a lot. And I really like my bathroom. It's very simple and it has the cabinets or whatever have, or drawers have this like beautiful, like light faux, wood and i really love it with the black details like that's just the theme of the apartment you'll see it in my kitchen and um i display like a good amount of my products here because i don't like everything i don't like having everything packed away in drawers because there's some things you need to quickly grab like when i'm washing my face i would like to have my face wash very close you know or you know if you need to do a little spray so i personally don't mind having things displayed here um, I also have a mirror if I need to do things more up close, my perfumes. And one thing that I love, well, there's so many things I love about this apartment, but one of the many things I love is that I have like the little, people call it medicine cabinets. And that's like for extra storage for like more of my skincare things or smaller things, my electric toothbrush. So I love that. And I will reach for things in here, like my deodorants in here, my serum, my hair oil. So this is very, very convenient. A nice way to like put things away so that they're not cluttering your space. Because imagine if like all that was out here, you would be stressed and I would be stressed with you. But um, I loved this addition to my apartment. Now, when we were touring, I was obsessed with this huge 
mirror. I think this would have been great, especially in college when we're all like getting ready to go out. But like now, like when friends will come over, like one will be here, one will be here. And if you really want to, another one could be here. Yeah, I love the big mirror. It's amazing. And it's like, you can still see like a good amount of your outfit, you know what I mean? In the mirror, which I appreciate. It is a pain to clean though, because it's so much, but it is really, really beautiful. You guys see just the products that I have here. The one thing that I want to highlight is this tri-level organizer that I got from Target probably like two months ago. I love it because it's very pretty, it's very simple, but it's spacious and I personally think a great thing to have in your space. But yeah, everything else is like pretty standard, nothing crazy. We come over to the toilet area. Again, nothing crazy. I recently bought a scale, so I keep my scale over there. We have our plunger and our brush for the toilet. I got the shower curtain because I really wanted to keep the marble theme. This is also from Amazon. A lot of stuff is from Amazon. And I like it, but I think I, I about three or four months ago, I wanted to swap this out with something a little bit more colorful because I felt like, eh, like it looks nice. I think it looks nice. It definitely fits the aesthetic of the bathroom. But I was like, ah, I think something with pink would be nice because I, you'll see in my living room, I'm trying to, I was trying to add in more like pops of pink, but I just kept this shower curtain. It did the job. Eventually in my next place, I'll get a new one. And then I quickly wanted to show you guys these, um, what do you call these, shelves? These are not like, these didn't come with the apartment. I actually built these myself from Amazon. And if I had to recommend anything, if you have a shower and you do not have shelves in them, you need to buy these. These are so sturdy, guys. And honestly, if you didn't look too close, even if you didn't see, you probably really, oh, you can see it on camera, yeah. But if you didn't see these, you would think that these came with the shower. Like, they are amazing. I never had any issues with them. But I will say, I need to remember this when I'm taking these off. To remove them, you need to use like a hair dryer to help you um, remove the adhesive without removing like any of the, this isn't paint, but th basically you won't be able to get them off unless you have a blow dryer. But yeah, I use, I keep a lot of my um, hygiene products in here. Y'all know I've been loving this body wash lately, the Native Sweet Peach and Nectar. Smells so good, but the vanilla one really is my favorite. Also, these shelves come with these little hooks, which is very convenient. I keep my brush to clean my shower right there. But yeah. It's your typical shower and bathtub combination. Nothing crazy. Okay, and then before we leave out the bathroom, we just have this little, this little rack over here. I just keep a hand towel so I can dry my hands. And then my mom, whenever she comes, she likes to buy these. And so we still have some left. But yeah, this is a pretty box. And see, like, seeing this box makes you go, yeah, Ariane, you should add some color in here. So yeah, when I first moved in here, it's so funny. I really thought I was going to get like a painting to go back here. But, and I actually don't mind that it's blank because I think like when I take pictures here, like it's nice to have like a plain background rather than like a picture or something. But a black and white picture I think would have looked nice back here. Now to honestly one of the selling points of this apartment, the closet on both sides. So I don't know if you could pick this up from the video, but your girl likes to um, have things in her closet. And so when I toured this place, we saw the closet, like we were so shocked. And honestly, this closet was needed. And my next place will definitely need a closet, if not this size, at least half, because I realize that I have a lot of stuff. But let me walk you through everything. So I really try to do the whole color coordination thing with my closet. And some people do it and it looks so aesthetic. Mine does not look aesthetic and I don't understand why, but it literally, all blacks are together, all whites are together, the creams are together, the browns, like it goes all the way up until, well, it was orange, but kind of messed it up a little bit. But this features all of my tops, my like sweaters, dresses. Yeah, that's like all that's up here. And then down here we have all my bottoms or all my casual stuff. That's what I'll say, all my casual stuff is over here. Over here we have like shorts, skirts and then my pants again organized from lightest to darkest y'all this is crazy you would never think I have this many pants like when I bought these um pant hangers and like actually put everything up I was like yo this is crazy and some of the things are actually doubled like you'll see there are two pairs of pants on here two pairs of pants on here so that is really wild to me that I have that many pairs of pants but yeah so there's our casual stuff and then up here I like to keep just some shoes um this mainly sneakers up here but then we also have some boots and some sandals this is like my favorite thing that I've 
really built in my apartment and it is this Ikea Kalix unit. And it was because I realized like, okay, I can have lots of closet space, but I have other things. I have beauty products. I have like your undergarments, your sweat, or not sweat clothes. What do you call it? Like exercise clothes. So I was like, I'm gonna get this. It may be my mom's idea actually, but I was like, it'll be a great addition. My closet will fit it. It's great. And these are so affordable. And listen, I've had this for two years. It's kept up so well like amazing but I have these four drawers and these are for beauty products guys don't judge me I'm gonna show you guys because y'all are like my friends but don't judge over here <laughs> over here typically I keep all of my complexion products and brushes over here don't look too long over here is more of like lashes um eyeliners contours like you're more like the other stuff in your makeup routine you know up here we have all of my palettes whether it's eyeshadow palettes blush palettes or highlighter palettes those are up there and then over here it is lip products which eventually i want to go through and like throw so much of this away because there are some stuff in here that i've had for a while that i don't wear like for example i do not wear this color i will never wear this color so like this needs to go in the trash yeah and by the way so when you buy the calyx this I'm gonna say it's aftermarket, but it's obviously not a car, but I just need to use that terminology. This is aftermarket. I purchased these from, I don't remember where I purchased them from. It may have been Amazon, but I know there's a third party seller that like does these, these drawers and they look so good. Oh my gosh, I feel like the closet section is gonna be the longest. So this is the other side of the closet, okay? We keep some chairs that I will eventually throw away, my step stool, my luggage and my vacuum cleaner. And then you guys don't need to see what's behind that door. Basically storage. Right here, I keep my towels. This first bin is purses. The second bin is also purses. Purses. And then this third bin features my heels. And then we have my lovely green tail far. My brown tail far is here somewhere. I just don't know exactly where it is, if I'm being honest with you. And then over here, we have my more formal and dressy items. So you can obviously see a lot of blazers. And also I keep some of my hoodies over here too, like the hoodies that I reach for a lot. I didn't want to fold them. I didn't want them to be on the other side. But anyway, mainly formal stuff. So like a lot of my work stuff, a lot of my church stuff. Um, I have this one dress. Can I show it to you guys? I bought this in college and I think it's so cute. I was like, I'm going to wear it one day for like a birthday thing, but it has to be my birthday. You can't wear this to somebody else's birthday because you'll be the star of the show. Um, but I've yet to wear it. I can still fit it though, so that's the good thing. But yeah, I have it quote unquote color coordinated. But again, it doesn't look cute. It doesn't look aesthetic. Over here are all my skirts and pants. I got this cute new leather skirt. So cute. This closet is really big, you guys. Like, I honestly really, really love it. I'm very happy that I was able to get a place with a closet this big. Anyway, the next part of the apartment is the bedroom. Okay, so this is my bedroom. This is so funny, you guys. Justin, <laughs> Justin got me this last year. And it's just, I think it's cute, but it's just so funny that other people have to look at this. So sorry if you guys are cringing. But my bedroom, this is my, it's actually not my favorite place, but I think I did a good job decorating this section in particular. And I have so many like places to tell you where I got things from. Um, then I'll show you around over here as well. So let's start off in this corner. So I have my tripod because I know I'll be vlogging. Then I have my lovely float faux plant that I got from Amazon and I got the planter from Marshalls. I probably won't be able to find the exact link since it's from Marshalls, but the plant will definitely be linked down below. I love it. I think it adds like a nice vibe to the room and it just brings in some more green, which I love. Then I have my nightstands that I got from Amazon. Honestly, I like them from a distance, but guys, these really scratched up. I don't know if I would recommend them unless you're okay with them being scratched up, but I think like even when I was setting them up, they got scratched up. So that's kind of frustrating to me, but they are cute and they are huge, huge. And I want to say I paid 75 to $95 for each one, which was more expensive than I would have liked, but I couldn't get nightstands that I wanted without being in that price range. And for like something that looks like this nice when it's not scratched, it's definitely worth the money. Um, I also got these lamps from Amazon. I like them. You touch them 
and they light up. So they have three different modes. Very convenient for when I'm like reading in here at night. I love it. Then I have my hatch alarm clock that I won from an Instagram giveaway. I'll be honest with you, I haven't used it yet, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, this cute little stuffed animal Justin got me. I thought it'd be a cute addition to the apartment or specifically the bedroom. And then we have my bed, my favorite place to be at after 11.30 p.m. Um, my bed is actually from Bob's Furniture. I paid maybe $600 for this bed. And what originally sold me about this is it had outlets on the side. Well, that's not the only thing, but I thought that was pretty cool to have outlets on the side so you can actually plug the bed in, as you can see. I don't know if you can see the cord back there, but it is not plugged in. But yeah, the bed is from Bob's Furniture. I really didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a bed because it's like, the bed doesn't matter. It just needs to be like cute. And I just loved how simple this was. I also love the high headboard because I tend to sit up in my bed a lot when I'm like editing videos or sometimes when I'm reading. But yeah, I love my bed. But I will say you can tell it's not a $900 or a $9,000 bed. Um, my mattress is from Macy's. And thankfully, I was looking for furniture around what is it called labor day so i got labor day sales y'all i didn't know that mattresses could be so expensive so thankfully i got my mattress and my um what are the wooden planks that go underneath your bed bed frame no whatever that's called i'll figure it out and put it on the screen i got those for i believe 800 dollars total when the mattress was supposed to be 1300 dollars. and i literally cannot even imagine spending 1300 dollars on a mattress unless that mattress is next level but yeah so this is my bed i really love it um it's great then we have lots of pillows justin does not understand why i have so many pillows specifically these pillows but I'm like you just need to get used to it i used to get a lot of questions about my comforter and it's actually amazing that i've been able to keep this comforter white because i can be a little messy to be honest when it comes to like stains and things like that this is not a comforter this is a duvet and a duvet insert the duvet is what I got from Amazon. And the, actually the duvet insert is from Walmart. But yeah, very, very cheap. I'll link that down below. I've linked it before. Love it. The blanket is from Walmart, like no complaints there. And over here we have the same thing, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, I really do love my bedroom. Okay, don't think about the shoe boxes. Don't think about those. <laughs> then over here we have my work desk. Um, you'll see a painting that I did before. I don't really want to throw it away, but I think eventually I will have to along with my yoga mat over here. Sometimes when I work out, I like to use a yoga mat. But this is where I sit sometimes for work. Honestly, I hate my work chair. It is like not comfortable. It's very cheap. Um, do not recommend. My desk is actually for my mom. She bought this maybe when I was in college and wasn't really using it. So when I moved back home, it became my desk. And then when I moved, I was like, hey, can I just take this and it is a standing desk do i have it plugged in probably not yeah i usually don't have it plugged in because i don't use the standing desk capability much sorry mom ignore that part um but the main reason why i sit at my desk is if i'm taking like a call like certain calls or if i really want to use my second screen which is definitely necessary when i'm doing certain tasks but the desk is from i believe office depot again it'll be linked down below desk pad is from amazon this is also from amazon this is a phone holder it's great the mouse and keyboard are from Amazon. This lamp, which I'll show you guys a little bit more later, from Amazon. Laptop holder, Amazon. Work laptop, personal laptop. Dock is from my job. JBL Flip I got in college. It's the JBL Flip 4. I love this speaker so, so, so much. This desktop screen is from Office Max. Eh, I don't know if I recommend it. It does the job, but there really is nothing special about it. So you could probably find another one, maybe even a little cheaper. But yeah, that's my little desk section. And then, but you can see my girl boss sign that I occasionally plug in. But um, yeah, and we also have this big window. Hold on, I'm gonna close my blinds. Okay, and we have this big, big window, which lets in so much light. I'm sure you guys saw that. I just didn't want to have like literally the streets where I live off of here on the internet. But um, yeah, big window, I love it. I usually keep the shades up at night. Um, so you can just look out the window. Sometimes you can see certain things, which I appreciate, but yeah, this is my bedroom. All right, let's head into the kitchen, which is honestly one of my favorite parts. I feel like I keep saying this, like every room has like a favorite part for me and that's why it felt, it wasn't easy to choose this apartment, but 
I felt like a really like strong feeling like I think this is the place for me. So this is my kitchen. Again, beautiful. It has the light Wa the light wood light wash I don't know what you call it but the light wood with the black details and this beautiful marble island but let's start over here so we have a basic trash can really not special um the island which I love I really wanted an island because I didn't want to get a dining table and so I was like an island is literally like a built-in dining table and it'll be nice like when I'm hosting and it'll also just be like a multi-purpose space like sometimes I work here I prepare food here like it's honestly great I have these bar stools I'm pretty sure I built these with y'all in a vlog one day they're from Amazon honestly they're fine they do the job like they're not special they like there really isn't anything like really great or really bad about them my only complaint is may not be this one the other one rocks a little bit but that's probably because maybe i didn't do the best job putting it together but they do the job and they have these in various colors i believe i paid 195 for both of these and i mean i just wanted to pay 50 dollars, but that's not realistic if you want bar stools with a back that was very important to me i hate the bar stools that don't have backs so yeah love my chairs um and then we come over here we have lots of storage y'all there are so many cabinets i don't even use um okay so many is dramatic i don't use these and i don't use those everything else does have stuff in it but over here we have like the tall like pantry like cabinets i'll open this one for you guys they're really not organized that well but this is like a lot of pastas greens sugars things like that i really really love these um yeah it's great um down here i keep a lot of like my cleaning supplies in these two or like household items like um what do you call it like laundry detergent dish detergent a lot of that is there here i keep like my wraps and my bags which is very convenient typically i'll have fruit over here but i'm going out of town later today so nothing there and then this was actually my favorite stuffed animal that justin got me i was having a really bad day one day in college and uh he was like oh he was like Ariane, come out I have a gift for you. I really wasn't talking to anybody that day. But yeah, he gave me this and this locket that I've yet to put our picture in. But that's okay. Um, and then I have this Michigan cutting board that my family has. I have no idea where they got it from. This is from Home Goods, by the way. Um, and a lot of people got into the storage containers. I actually really do like them. These are from Costco. I think I paid maybe, maybe $35. I'll find them and link them down below. Then over here we have a paper towel holder, which was from Home Goods, and then a bunch of like miscellaneous like kitchen items. This is from Home Goods. The random brush is probably from Home Goods. I don't know where the sink stopper and drain came from. My mom bought those, um, and the Brita's from Target. But I love just the marble, the light brown and the black together. Like it's honestly so beautiful. Another great thing about the island is that it also has storage over here. So I'm not gonna open these, but. Just like drawers for whatever you want, some throw drawers. And I like how like you don't even know they're drawers until you like pull them out. So they're good. They're they're just nice. Um, and then these two cabinets, which I keep a lot of like bags or other household items. Over here, we have like the main part of the kitchen. Well, no, I actually think the island is the main part. But this is where the magic happens. Honestly, the stove. I really love gas stoves. So I felt very blessed that I was able to get one. And it came with the little like griddle in the middle, which I really feel like I wasn't utilizing until recently. So love that. We also have a dishwasher. We have my air fryer, which I had my eye on for the longest. I was able to get it on Black Friday when I first moved into this apartment. Love it. It's the best. It's so spacious. I have a few of my cookbooks and then several of my HelloFresh recipes. Whenever I come over here and look, I'm like, wow, I've really used HelloFresh for quite a while. I have these cute little um, oil holders. Those are from Amazon. This little rack and I need to tighten it. But this rack and the utensils are also from Amazon. They actually came together. Um, I have a whole set of pans like this. They're from the brand Green Pan and I like them. They're cool. They're non-stick, but they're also safe. This was a fake or like a, a joke gift Justin got me, but I actually really like it. It is what it is. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately. I got this diffuser from my manager and I just keep a few hand, sanit hand sanitizers around just in case I need to grab one when I'm leaving. And then more storage. I keep like my um, forks, like my silverware here, more like cookware and stuff over there. 
and then lots of cabinet space. And over here, it's just typical fridge, freezer. Um, I keep a few like miscellaneous things up there, like my travel fund, this cute little bear Justin got me from the Warriors Christmas game last year, my gratitude jar, some cleaning products that I got with my couch, and my cereal. So yeah, it's very simple. I'll show you guys just like what this looks like. Very simple, like, I don't, it's only me here, so I don't need like that many like dishes. Two of my plates though are in the, the dishwasher, but I really, really love my kitchen. Like when we walked in, my jaw hit the floor because I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I also love the overhead lighting. So there's two lights. Um, you have the over the island lighting, which is gorge, love it. I actually never dusted these. I probably should at some point because they are so dusty. Wow, that's actually embarrassing. And then the lighting over here. And of course it has the under the cabinet lighting, which I love. Um, so like if I really want to be emo and don't want any lights on, thankfully to the big windows, there's still a good, good amount of light. But when I actually do appreciate sunlight, we have this. Anyway, so yeah, love my kitchen so much. Like this really set the standard for kitchens, if I'm being honest with you, love it. Moving over here, we have my little mirror area. This is the Ikea Hovit mirror. Pretty much every girly has this uh, mirror in their apartment. It's so big and guys, I'm a bad girl. I never um, like put it in the wall. So it's been leaning like this for two years. If you're looking for a large mirror, you have to get this one. It's huge. What is it? Seven feet tall. I think it's seven feet tall. Probably what, like three and a half feet wide. It's so big and they have different finishes. I think they have like this white one and they may have a black one as well. But if you wanna like DIY it, you totally can. But I love this mirror and it was a good price, like less than $150, I believe. When most like big mirrors like this are costing you 250, 300. I love it, must have. All right, and when we turn our head to the right, we have our living room area, which is, probably my favorite part in the apartment, probably where I've spent the most time and also I think the most effort in terms of decorating. So we have my lovely couch. I got this couch in Michigan. It is from Gardner White and I love it. It took me so long to find a couch. Love it, love it, love it. But let's start up here. So I got these three prints from Etsy. I will list the seller down below and they represent places that have a special place in my heart. I wish I could have had one for Huntsville, which is where I went to college, but of course, they don't have Huntsville. Like, don't nobody know about Huntsville. But Atlanta is where I was born. So that one is here first. Next, we have Detroit. Detroit is where I was raised. And then we have Chicago. And Chicago is the first place where I moved out on my own. So love these. I will admit these were way more expensive than I would have liked. And just a heads up, when you purchase prints this big, expect to pay a lot for frames. I love them, they're so simple and they still were like quote unquote expensive. No, expensive is a strong word. They were more than I wanted to pay. I believe they were like maybe 30. Then again, you guys see the couch, this large sectional couch, love it. And I got these throw pillows from different places. So the pillow insert for this one is actually the same pillow insert from my bed. So that is from Amazon, this faux leather, Cover is from this brand called Woven Nook. They'll be linked down below. It was not cheap, but it also wasn't crazy. And I just really like the look of a leather pillow. This pillow is from, oh, I can't remember if it's Home Goods or Target. I'll find out. Then we have this cute pillow from Target. Again, another pillow insert that matches the one in my bedroom. The cover is from Amazon. And then this pillow came with the couch. Um, I feel like a couch is really important. Like if there's anything to invest in, I feel like it's your bed and or your couch. And I'm happy I invested in this because it can fit so many people. When people spend the night, like you can easily sleep there instead of me pulling out my um, air mattress. Like I really, really, really love it. Then these are newer additions. I got both of these things or all these things technically in 2023. So first we have this rug. I got it January of 2023. And at first I was really disappointed because it was smaller than I thought. I don't know what was wrong with my measuring, but I thought it was gonna be a little bigger, like an inch bigger, but it actually works for the space. Like I actually appreciate that it's small, that it's not hanging out too much farther than the couch. And I love the colors. And then I was like, oh, 
a black coffee table will be okay, but this acrylic coffee table fits so much better. So I got this from overstock.com on sale. The rug is from Target. Y'all, guess how much I got the rug for? Guess, $45. The rug is originally maybe like 95. I got this for 45, 50% off one random day in January. I was so excited. So yeah, Target for the rug, Overstock for the acrylic table. These coasters, you also saw these in my bedroom. They're Golden State Warrior coasters. Justin got those for me from the stadium. Then I have this lovely Spike Lee coffee table book, which I love. And then this is probably the newest edition. This is like a little like film box where I keep all of my little, not all of them, but a lot of my Polaroids that I've been taking, I keep them in here. So eventually I wanna have this like full of things, but like, oh, here's my friends from work. Here's me and Justin and my college friends. So like, yeah, I'm trying to add more and more in here. But yeah, love that. Over here we have just where I keep all my little throw blankets. It's convenient when people come over, they can easily get blankets and I don't have to bring them out to them to be honest. Then over here, um, I don't know what this little corner is, just like random stuff. I got this beautiful lamp from Costco. Literally, randomly was looking in Costco, saw this and I was like, mom, when I move, I have to get this. And y'all, I got it. It was definitely an investment. It may have been like $150. I'll see if they still sell it, but it has like a big base down there. It's so pretty. And when I show you the nighttime view, you'll be like, oh, Ariana, I love it. Eventually when this light bulb goes out, which I'm so impressed that two years the light bulb has not gone out, but eventually I will replace it with one of the color light bulbs so I can get like another like way to get some color in here. Over here I just have my iPad and my remote and then I keep a few books over here um, just for fun and then a few of my playbills are also over here from plays that I've seen recently. And I also have a balcony, guys. I actually was going to deck it out this year, but I decided I'm not going to use it because wasps come high off the ground. Like I'm pretty, I'm a, like, I'm a, a quite a few floors and wasps have made appearances. And I was like, oh heck no, I'm not investing in this furniture for me to not be outside. So decided not to invest in the furniture. And I think in future places, I'm just not gonna get a balcony. I thought I would use it all the time. And every once in a while I do use it. And I think it would have been cool when I had guests and stuff, but if I'm being honest with you, I'm paying an extra $100 a month in rent just because of the balcony that I don't use. So lesson learned. Um, I also have this. This did not come with the apartment. You see like this like black line. That's like a net. So if I want to have my door open and like have fresh air come in, I can. Only problem is every once in a while, the door will slam. So that's kind of annoying. Oh, forgot to show you guys this. So this is another gift from Justin. He actually gave this to me the same day he gave me the larger one that's in my bedroom. Um, it's a cute picture of us from junior year. I feel like we look so different. Obviously, we still like the same people, but I think it's me that looks different. I just look weird in this picture. I'm like, Justin, why did you pick this picture? <laughs> but um, then I have my certificate of completion from Discover. I always say Discover will have a special place in my heart. And so I just had it displayed. And then today is not September 9th, but I've yet to change this. But this is a cute little um, like film camera, like picture holder, Polaroid camera picture holder. And it's just really cute. Like I have just random pictures in here, friends. It's mainly my friends from college. Um, Cause that's really where I had um, my Polaroids, but I think it's really, really cute. Um, my mom accidentally broke it. So I am gonna throw this away eventually, like whenever I move, but I'll probably get something else that can display my pictures, but really try to keep pictures in here as well. And then over here, wow. Well, not last, we still have like two more things, but this is my TV console area. I built this myself. This was the first piece of furniture I actually built and it was stressful because I'm pretty sure they didn't send me all the pieces, but y'all, this thing is still standing two years later. I think it's so cute. Look at the legs, so adorable. We have my Alexa over here. These two candles um, I got from Michael's randomly went in there and I actually keep all my candles in here along with a remote to do the lights for my TV. And then down here, it's just like a little like display of just some things that I like and love. And again, y'all know I vlog, so I have my old camera over here, some film, and my big old TV that I got mounted. And honestly, I shouldn't have hired her. It's not her fault, it's probably my fault. I think the frame is too big, because when you sit down, you can see the bottom of the frame. And I've 
always been a little insecure about that honestly it's dumb but whatever the tv is from target i got it on sale this is a 55 inch and it was like maybe 300 dollars. great value in my personal opinion like this is a big tv but yeah this is my little um tv stand over here in this one i'll show you guys this side i keep my books i keep books over here um down here are mainly books that i've read up here are books that i have yet to read or haven't finished reading and then over here i'm not going to show you too much but it's kind of like games and other miscellaneous thing puzzles stuff like that so um yeah that's the living room and then we're gonna walk over here um, a lot of people don't know that i have in unit washer and dryer i don't know what people think this is but I've had people like, Ariane, where's your washer and dryer? I'm like, guys, it's behind the little door. But yeah, full size, or not full size, but apartment size washer and dryer. Not crazy about it, but it does the job. I think I'm just jealous because Justin had a full size washer and dryer that was like literally amazing. Over here, I just have some tote bags because I use tote bags a lot on a day to day basis. And then we have my coat and jacket closet. This is my dress for my friend's wedding i don't know what i'm gonna do with it so i just leave it there um a lot of jackets and then my christmas tree right there some christmas decorations and then just some other like fall and winter stuff or like weather stuff like i have a sun hat umbrellas stuff like that in there so and it's also storage for extra clothing that i have but yeah you guys this is my apartment uh i love it so 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 much